Hi everyone, uh, back with another uh, little personal Geiger counter review. Uh, I haven't actually bought a new one in a while. This is probably the first one that I have bought in maybe six months. Uh, and again, it is from Ukraine. I wasn't going to buy it but the seller offered me a pretty good deal on it and I got it in the end for £25 and that was including shipping from Ukraine. Uh, shipping took about three weeks um, and that was with Brexit and everything and it got here fine. I didn't have to pay any VAT or anything on it or any customs charges which was nice. Um, <laughs> the only downside of it is uh, being from Northern Ireland, uh, you probably understand, the uh, the English name of it is the IRA-01, uh, which at the time I didn't actually notice and it wasn't until I read the instructions that I realised. Uh, so yeah, that's the only downside of it, but well, we'll let that go. Um, it is one of the type that it only has signalling, so you don't get a display to tell you how much radiation you're being exposed to, uh, but you get uh, an audible signal and you get... Uh, a flashing red light as well that uh, shows you each instance of uh, it detecting radiation. Uh, it does uh, beta and gamma. Uh, it basically says here, this sort of a quote from, from Ukrainian into English basically says that under normal background radiation, you should be getting 15 to 25 pulses per second, or per minute, sorry. So it'll flash 15 to 25 times and you'll get a you know a, an audible signal uh 15 to 25 times per minute if everything is fine anything more than that then you've got elevated levels and uh you should uh you know you should take care in that so really this will be for carrying around in your pocket in your car keeping it on your windowsill uh turning it on every now and again or if you want turning it on all the time and uh, it'll let you know just everything's okay in the background. And then if uh, shit hits the fan, you'll then know to uh, to bring out one of your bigger Geiger counters to uh, to let you know what is the actual background reading at that moment in time. So I'll uh, I'll turn it on, and it is very very simple to turn on. And you can hear that it is reacting to my radium dial pocket watch here and also to a bit of pitch blend and I'll bring them a bit closer and I'll put it on top so you can hear it is reasonably sensitive and it is letting you know what's going on in the background and uh, in fact I'll absolutely make it go crazy here with some strontium 90. And you can hear ticks as well. Hopefully you can hear that. But uh, yeah, it is quite a nice little meter. And what I really liked about it, I'll turn it off for a second here, uh, is that you get English instructions as well as Ukrainian instructions. So there is the uh, Ukrainian instructions. And then you also get really well, actually it's really, really good English as well. It's been very, very well translated. Um, you get uh, proper English instructions as well, which is quite nice for a meter like this. Yeah, so here we go. So um, normal background radiation here is 15 to 25, as I said, and it's written on the unit itself. And then if in a minute you get 50 to 70 beeps, so basically uh, twice or three times that, it means the radiation level is unsafe. And if in 60 seconds you get 150 beeps or LED flashes, it means the radiation level is very, very dangerous. So yeah, if you were out and about with that and uh, you didn't have a meter that had a digital display on it, this would let, definitely let you know um, how dangerous it was getting and then you could get indoors and then you could pull out your uh, your meter with a digital display 
and uh, really know what's going on. Um, I'll do a little jump cut and I'll actually open it up. I haven't opened it up yet, so I'll do a little jump cut. We'll open it up and we'll have a quick look inside and see what tube's in it. I'm guessing it's a SBM20 or variant and I think it runs off a 9 volt battery as well. So yeah, little jump cut and we'll have a little look inside. Okay, so single screw, quite a large screw as well uh, to undo it. I'll do it carefully here. Okay, we have a little, I think I'll do it this way. Yeah, that's the way to do it. So you take the back off, rather than taking the top off the back, you take the back off the top. And interesting design. So we have a single circuit board in here. We have nine volt battery. We have a piece of plastic. Yeah, so it's quite homebrew this. In fact, it more than likely is a homebrew design. Uh, we have an SBM20. And in fact, I have an unused SBM20 up here. We'll just help compare them. Yeah, so it's a proper SBM20 as well. It is not a, uh, a modern version. It is an original Cold War era SBM20. As I say, I paid £25 for this. Uh, they usually retail for about £30. Uh, but uh, I think it's well worth it for £30 shipped from Ukraine to the UK. And if you're after something, if you don't own a Geiger counter and you want something really, really simple, uh, you could probably do a little bit of pitch blend prospecting with this or in uh, if you wanted to bring something into a antique shop and uh, look for radioactive sources this is actually pretty perfect and uh, yeah I might actually just keep this in the car because it's it's small and unobtrusive, unobtrusive enough that I can keep it in the glove box and uh, if I'm near an antique shop or I, I see a market I go past I can quickly take this out throw it in my pocket and yeah I can just pass it over some antiques if I see any watches or anything or odd looking bits of stone that I see sometimes for sale or a bit of uranium glass something like that yeah this will come in quite handy nice little unit cheap enough that it won't break the bank and uh, well worth buying right that is the end of this video uh, next video will be about the DDR the uh, Deutsche Democratic Republic uh, this video has taken me quite a long time. I have filmed some parts of it and there's more parts to do. It will definitely be two parts. Originally, I was just going to talk about uh, my sort of bits of the Berlin Wall that I have in my collection and a few other things. But uh, some interesting things have happened since I did that and it would be wouldn't be good enough to just do a one part video so i'm going to do two parts so the first part of that will be out um as soon as possible within the next week anyway and uh, yeah it's going to be a hopefully a really really interesting video um uh, for uh for all of you and uh yeah i'm really looking forward to getting that out but listen uh as always thank you very very much for watching and i'll see you all again next time Bye bye